I told you we were gonna have Uncle Chris's Legoland. Not what you were expecting, right? Chris, what are you doing and where are you at? I'm standing inside the brand new Heartland Pioneer BH281. This is the private bunk room slash office. It could really be whatever you want because when you had these slats on both sides of this space with these panels and oh, by the way, a luggage door, this could be additional storage. This could be a separate dining area if you wanted to. Put a couple of chairs in here, stack these up like this. You see how these are panels? You could literally put all six of them down here, stack it up, have yourself an office, whatever you want. You have the slat here. So if you did want to do an office, check it out. Put this there, remove the other panels. Look what you have here. You have yourself a workspace, slide the chair in there. You can even open the back door and have yourself a very cool office space because you do have part of the 13.5 BTU ducted AC right here, but you also have windows down beneath. And then when you're ready to set this up as a bunk area, easy to do. Just watch the blinds like I did not do. Bring this out, set it on the bottom, do the same thing for the top and look you got four of these teddy bear series bunk mattresses two for the bottom two for the top there you go now if you want one sleeping space two sleeping spaces four sleeping spaces whatever you got you technically have double over double bunks because this coach being 32 feet six inches roughly 6400 pounds will sleep seven maybe even eight depending on the size but Having a versatile bunk room slash office, working on the road, learning on the road, just being able to vacate, to me, makes that an awesome option. Then add the fact that if you need it, you got a solid door for privacy. It's not just an open area like most campsite bunk rooms are. Thinking outside the box, giving you more options. We come in here and we flow right into our campsite kitchen. Where you're gonna see for this year, they have upgraded the decor. This is a bluish gray that really looks good. It may look like it's black a little bit on the screen, but this is blue gray. 10.7 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. It is the gas electric hybrid. Come over to your campsite kitchen. You got your 16 inch suburban oven, three burner cooktop with the glass cover, uh, recessed. You got your graystone hood, high point microwave, but look at what they've done with the backsplash. Number one, it's a solid piece, not just a piece of paper. Oversized window, but the backsplash goes all the way to the top. You even have an extra light, 110 outlet, pressed surface countertops with a 50-50 undermount sink, and look at my champagne bronzed accents. Yes, they got the stuff that people are putting in their houses right now, scrambling to go to the Home Depot to get. You're getting it inside your Heartland Pioneers. You also get it on all of your cabinet and drawer pulls as well. And I like the color flow that we have here. I think my friend Trish would also like this. White, white and gray, blue gray. Good color combinations, solid wood construction. They even finished off the drawers and gave you an applique on the bottom with full extension drawer guys. Then come over to the off camp side. You got another storage space here with two grab and go spots. And by the way, the shelves come out. So if you need to do some additional moving around, some additional functioning, you can absolutely love it. We'll get to this room here in just a second. Hold up. I know somebody's asking about it. Look at my slide. No carpet, no PVC, continuation of that upgraded linoleum, but they gave us a decorative dinette with wood top and a wood bench seat with storage underneath. I'm a fan of that. Uh, I'll, it, is a, it is a seating space, so I would get a cushion for the kids. But why not do the booth dinette? Well, for years, uh, space was kind of a limitation uh, for a lot of people when it came to booth dinettes. Having the freestanding dinette, sure, it does take away a sleeping space, uh, but it, it just opens up, I think, more functionality. More importantly, it opens up more of that residential appeal to an RV. I got huge panoramic windows, and take a look at what I have right here. I'm going to talk about two things in this one. Can you point them out real quick? Probably not. Uh, well, actually, yeah, you probably can. 
you read my mind? You got that ESPN? This is a beautiful leatherette jackknife sofa that, and Ian and I were talking about it to him. He was like, oh man, it looks like old English leathers. Oh, I like that. It, to me, it looked like a old book bound leather, but it is a cool color combination and they added cloth curtains. Such an easy option to change for RV manufacturers that makes this coach look more residential. And for entry level in this price point, great feature, wrought iron, cloth, curtains then they gave me an angled entertainment center with a graystone fireplace to go along with my 30k btu furnace my 13.5 btu ac component shelf tv backer cable connection mini mud room right here and i got the mirror so i can check myself but if you need another mirror so somebody else can check themselves because it is a bunk room but look at the separation of space ryan back up for a hot second door and door what else has a lot of doors? Your home. This is your oversized off-camp corner bathroom in the BH281. Just look at the space that you have in here. High-rise plastic bulb. Got my vanity continuing that wood grain and that gray with mirrored medicine cabinet up top. Check my water tanks. All that good stuff right there. Cut on my water heater. Then I got the shower and I'm 6'2". I still got about two inches of clearance right here on my head, so I'm not cramped. Even got hangers, got the matte black, corner notches, the tub surround, so if you're washing the kids or the dogs, you're not gonna splash and get that stuff all over the place. Okay, Chris, we love the back area. We love how it flows. What about the master bedroom? I got something for you here, too. Check it out. You got caning in your ward closets. 110 on both sides, windows on both sides. The continuation of that wood theme, uh, both on the valances and on the storage shelf. Then you have more ward storage with removable shelves on the interior, over here on the campsite. That, my friends, is tight. Oh yeah, and the I Sleep Systems queen size bed up front with more storage underneath. Versatile, cool, functional, but more importantly, thoughtfully designed with this interior. The BH281, 32 feet, six inches, 6,400 pounds dry, can sleep seven, maybe eight, but I like the separation of space. You actually have it thanks to the doors. Ryan, let's go outside and show everybody what they got out there, come on. That office slash bunk room is pretty, pretty sweet, isn't it, <laughs> right? I mean, it's just, I love how manufacturers are getting more versatile. So let's take a look at what we're gonna find on the outside of the Heartland Pioneer BH281. Some camp conveniences that have been added this year. One of the things I like is the vault. It is a covered disconnect for your battery. So since we are pre-wired for solar, you decide to go ahead and upgrade to a solar package. You can continue to trickle charge those batteries, but without having to draw on the battery by just cutting the disconnect off there. Powered tongue jack, twin 20 pound LP tanks. You do have the diamond plated rock guard on this one too, all seated on that powder coated frame that is a really good support for this coach. But what we have up front is a hybrid aluminum front profile. So what that means, it, layman's terms, just not as much tongue weight as some coaches that are in this weight and size. And the fact that this is entry level, 32 feet, six inches, roughly 6,400 pounds dry, can sleep six to seven. The 281 I think is a great option for you. If you're looking for that size, King Kong size pass through storage right here. But look at the finished off space that we have in here. Right there's a good, shot of that hybrid aluminum front profile too. You got stabilizer jacks right there, enclosed underbelly, extra large awning with the LED light strip and sealed safety windows all the way around. Plus on the aluminum siding that we have here, Heartland even puts a special coating that's gonna help, well, it helps with cleaning because it'd be easier to clean, but it also helps with the graphics not fading. And I like they even covered the hinges on my magnetic doors so the metal's not exposed to the elements, meaning you won't get rust streaks. Solid step over steps. I like the look of the door, putting that color on there that's also the high gloss black with the logo. That looks pretty tight. Come out to your outside kitchen. These are kind of nice. You got the Suburban Elite Series griddle, the mini fridge, LP Quick Connect down there, uh, and you got the door that opens from the top to the bottom because right here by the door, if you had it coming up, it would block the window. 
Uh, so I, I kind of like that they put some thoughtfulness in there. Fresh tank fill, of course, 41 gallon fresh tank, actually 46, 47, if you take into account the six gallon hot water heater. Cable connection power, back of my furnace, back of my fridge. Right there, you got the steel rims. That extra wide berth on the Dexter Easy Lube axles is gonna give you a, a pretty consistent tow, nice and smooth going down the road. Right there, that sweet little bunk office area. Rear stabilizer jack, four x four sewer hose storage. And this right here is what I was talking about with the load door or the doggy door. What's cool about it is if you come in from Costco with the big giant cases of water or whatever, you can easily slide it in here, lift this up if you need to, or the bikes, the kayak, whatever. Just look at the shot that you got, the space that's in there going all the way as far as loading area if you need it. If not, kids can hang out here, keep it open, fish out the back if you're close enough. I mean, why not? Hey man, it's your RV. The only thing that's keeping you from really experiencing all the great things that RVing can do is you just haven't figured out where to go yet, but you'll get there. Ladder prepped on the side. I like that so we can get up and do the roof maintenance or our folks can get up and do the roof maintenance for you. External shower here, hot and cold. Black tank flush, which is part of that camp convenience package. And I gotta tell you, for entry level RV, having that, especially in this price point, is very handy. Got my 30 amp plug there, city water connection, my tanks, 40 and 40 on my gray and my black there. Slide, sealed windows. Other side of the front stabilizer jacks. And then right here, other side of my pass-through storage too. With my solar charge controller and my battery disconnect, easily accessible. Info panel is probably one of the most important things you wanna look at when you're talking about picking up your RV, because this is where you're gonna see how much does this coach actually weigh. Now we're 6,400 pounds dry, but the gross vehicle weight is 7,890. So you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and you say, hey, here's what my RV can tow. Here's, here's how many people we need to go camping. Here's where we're gonna go camping. We get that information, we can find the RV of your dreams, guaranteed. Uh, but that weight differential, either rv.campingworld.com towing guide or just bring your vehicle in. We'll check it for you free, easy. It doesn't take any time at all. But I mean, for all the features that they put in there, plus that decor and that versatile bunk room, bunk area, bunk room, whatever you want to call it. I got to tell you, this one to me stands out as a unique floor plan that for that family that's looking for something different, that still wants all those features. The BH281 checks all the boxes. 32 feet, six inches, 6,400 pounds dry, can sleep seven, maybe more easily. Tell me what you think. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it. Because the great thing about Heartland, they, they listen to you and they will implement stuff that people like and don't like. That's, that's why they change every year. Uh, and please click like, subscribe, and notify too. So the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Hope you enjoy the BH281. I'll see you soon. And thank you, by the way.